Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a first impression slash one brand tutorial on the Sephora collection. I am really, really happy. Like, I'm kind of giving it away right now, but the products worked out so well, and I really don't hear a lot of people talking about this brand, and I really don't know why, because these are hidden gems, like, definitely, for sure. I will say that the pricing of these products, they're not, like, super high-end, but they're not super affordable. They're, like, right in the middle. I do think that a lot of the products are worth it, and they are decently priced since they are coming from Sephora, so I do think it's worth it for what you get and for how well the products worked. So just kind of giving that out a little bit. But I also did create this look totally inspired by James Charles. He did a video like this, which I will link down below. And I first actually saw it on Instagram and I was like blown away. He is so talented. And I loved the look that he created because it's like really bold and really fun. But it's still wearable in my opinion, even though it has so much color. He did it inspired by the Pride Parade, which although I'm not a part of the LGBTQ community, I personally support it 110% because love is love and I love 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 so I really love the concept behind the makeup I hope you guys do enjoy it don't forget to grab a snack grab some food something to keep you company because you already know my one brand tutorials are super long because I do try to go into depth into the products and you know you know how it works so I hope you like it and let's just go ahead and get started So as always we are doing the brows first. I just can't do the rest of my makeup without having them done first It just gives me like I feel like the framework for the rest of my makeup So I'm going in with this retractable brow pencil and I have this one in the shade 04 midnight brown The spoolie on the end isn't so much of a spoolie It's more of like this really weird comb which is kind of interesting But the tip of the pencil seems really really nice So I'm gonna go ahead and just outline my brows and I don't have a brow pomade today I'm actually gonna use some brow powder, but Let's see how it goes. Pencil seems nice. I've been having a lot of luck with like brow pencils lately. Like a lot of them have been really, really good. This one seems nice because like the formula of it is like creamy, but it's not too creamy, which is just how I like my brow pencils. So I pretty much follow along with the natural shape of my brows to create almost like the illusion of a little bit of a fuller brow because you can see my brow hairs are so sparse and light. I kind of wish that this didn't have this comb though. I wish that it was more of a, an actual like spoolie. Um, the comb for me honestly is a little bit useless, especially because my brow hairs, like I said, they're so sparse and they're not really thick. I guess if you have thicker hairs, the comb could be good, but for me, no bueno. Then I'm picking up the Sephora Eyebrow Editor. This one's just in the shade Dark Brown, number 03. So you get two brow powders and it looks like a wax. Personally, I don't really use waxes and I used to use brow powders all the time. So we're kind of kicking it old school a little bit. So I'm gonna just pick up the middle shade, which is the darkest color, and I'm just gonna use an e.l.f. little duo eyebrow brush. And this one does come with a spoolie on the end, which is super convenient. This does come with little tweezers and a little brush, but it's just so tiny. I honestly prefer to have more control. So I'm just gonna go in with a Larger brush, just dip in here and fill in my brows. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I always forget to zoom in. Oh wow, I actually really like that brow powder. I haven't used really powder in a really long time. I did it for one of my older videos that I did, like another one brand tutorial, I just, I don't know why I like pomades, but this powder is actually really smooth and it's gliding on the brows really nicely. I think brow powder is really good if you already have like really good eyebrows because it's literally so easy and it just gives you a little bit more of a fuller effect, but it's still a little bit more natural, I feel like, than a pomade in my opinion. Okay, I actually really do like this powder. I love the color. I like the formula of it. Um, I don't know. So far, so good. I'm really loving the pencil and the brow products. So I'm going to go ahead and carve. I was going to say clean, and then I said carve. Clarve out my brows. I'm just going to use this Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer, and I have this one in the shade Custard. Okay, I'm just going to apply it right to the back of my hand. This seems super creamy. Do you see that? That's crazy. And I'm just going to go ahead and just clean up the brows. I'm using this really tiny brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to dip on the back of my hand and just clean them up a little bit. A lot of people told me that they hate the way that I do my makeup because I'm so heavy handed. And I'm just like, girl, I can't help myself. This is just how I like to do it. So I'm sorry if you don't enjoy 
I guess just don't watch. I personally like to do this because I've always struggled with my brows and I feel like this just makes them look a little bit more clean, a little bit more even, and it just is what works for me. I mean, I'm not forcing anybody to do their makeup the way that I do it. This is just how I do it. I'm also gonna use that same concealer and I'm just gonna apply it on my lids as my primer. I always like to do this because I always like to have some sort of base on my lids to kind of cancel out any discoloration that I have and then it just helps my eyeshadow to last longer and just go on a lot smoother. So I'm just going to blend that out with, again, my beauty blender. I think today I want to do a colorful cut crease. I'm going to try my best. If it doesn't work out, I'll just do something different, but I really want to do something different with the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette, the colorful one. It is stunning. I did a review on my channel a few weeks ago with these palettes. I have all three, and I think I'm going to go in with the colorful one, which is the editorial, and then a couple shades in the warm tone one. So let's start off with the warm tone palette, and I'm just going to take a cream color right at the top just to go ahead and set my lid. I'm literally just going to apply that color right over top where we just applied the concealer. I really like this warm palette. I haven't played with the editorial palette, but I have played with the warm one and I like it. It's really pigmented, it blends super well. It's just, it has a ton of fallout, but I do really like this palette so far. So let's see how the colorful one is today. But I'm gonna start off with the yellow shade and I'm just gonna be taking this on a Morphe M506 and I'm gonna just start by applying that right into the crease. Okay, I'm gonna start by really building that shade up. If it gets a little bit on the lid, like trying to do the cut crease, it's totally okay because I'm gonna go in with concealer anyway to cut that crease and I really don't know what I'm doing. I am trying to follow the same technique that James Charles did when he did this tutorial. Obviously, this is gonna be like a million times better, but it's all right. We're just playing with makeup. Just experimenting a little bit. I've mentioned it before, but I'm not a makeup artist. I like to play with makeup and I love, actually, I love to play with makeup, but I'm really, I'm not a professional. I just do it for fun. So I'm just blending that yellow right in this part of my crease. I probably should use a smaller brush, but I will with other colors. I'm just trying to have like a base in there. I'm gonna pick up a Morphe E36. This is a little bit more of a tinier brush, as you can see. It's just gonna be easier to get in the crease. So I'm gonna take the editorial palette and I'm gonna be picking up that orange color and I'm gonna just start applying that right in the crease. Ooh, it's pigmented. The only thing that I've done with this palette is swatch it, but I haven't actually like applied it on my eyes. This is gonna be the first time. I'm nervous. I always get nervous doing looks like this on camera because like if I mess up it's like ah! but hopefully it turns out good. If it doesn't I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm just gonna take a little washcloth. I always keep these when I do my makeup and I just wipe off the brush on the washcloth. You can get these at like Walmart, Target, anywhere. And I'm gonna be picking up the shade right next to the orange which is more of like a bright like peach and I'm gonna start by just applying that on the outer part of my crease and like flicking it out a little bit just like that I'm also going to take a little bit of this shade which is the hot pink color which is like two over I'm going to also mix that in just kind of flick it out okay so do the same thing to the other eye I've never done a look like this. Like, you guys, this is my first time doing it, so I know it's not going to be perfect, but I'm trying to do something different because I know all of my looks are so neutral. I just, I get nervous, like, stepping out of my comfort zone. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is just go in with a Morphe M433 and I'm literally using a lot of the same brushes that James used in the video um, but it's really helpful I've literally rewatched that video probably like 10 times like trying to get the technique that he was doing he made it look so easy so I'm gonna go back into the yellow shade and I'm just gonna take that and really blend the edges of that color out just make everything look a little bit like smokier
Taking the same brush, again, I'm just cleaning it off with my little washcloth that I have. I'm going to use the same colors that I used in my crease, except I'm just going to just kind of add them with this fluffier brush just to blend them out better. Again, I know that this is a cut crease and it got on my lid, but I'm going to clean it up with concealer so it's all good. You could totally use like different brushes, but I like to use the same one because I feel like it works perfect just for the crease. Wow, the colors in the editorial palette are actually super pigmented. So be careful with them. You literally just have to dip a little bit and you get so much pigment. Okay, honestly, I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and just carve out the crease using the same concealer that I used to carve out my brows and I'm just gonna apply it right on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna be picking up a really tiny brush. I'm actually probably gonna do a lot of it. I'm actually gonna just use the same brush that I used to carve out my brows because it's like perfect. I feel like it's a little angled and it's really flat and tiny. So I'm just gonna take that and literally just carve out the crease. This part always makes me so nervous because it's always hard for me to like get it to be really, really precise. I'm going to clean up the crease a little bit once I'm all done with the concealer, but I actually really like this concealer so far. It is really, really creamy and it blends really well. Then I'm going to go back into the warm palette. I'm going to pick up the cream shade that I used earlier to set my lid and I'm going to apply that over top of my lid just to set that concealer obviously because it is a little tacky. And to do that I'm just going to use a Sigma concealer. This is the F concealer brush. This is the F70 and I'm just going to literally pack on that color. You could even use a um, regular like pressed powder for your face. Just any like skin tone color to really set that concealer into place. I'm just emphasizing some of the colors in the crease a little bit more. Whenever I use this palette, I always top off the excess because it like I said, it does have a lot of fallout, so you have to just be careful. I'm just gonna go in with the Sephora. Every time I do one brand tutorials, I always like have to stop myself from saying the brand because obviously all of these products are from the Sephora collection. So anyways, this is just the High Precision Eyeliner and this one's in the shade Black. I'm really excited about this because the tip reminds me so much of the old Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which I love. They have the eyeliner still, but they changed the brush, they changed the formula, and I, they also changed the packaging. So the brush of that and that eyeliner is totally different than what it used to be, but this one reminds me so much of it. So God, my phone scared me. I actually also did pick up a mascara. This is the Lash Craft Length Plus Volume Mascara, and I just have this one in this shade. I believe it's just black. And the wand looks really nice. Not too big, not too small. So I'm gonna apply just a quick coat of mascara because I am gonna go in with some falsies that I picked up. So let's see. I always smell everything, and it's kind of weird, but I really like the way mascara smells. I don't know. It just has this smell. Smelly smell that I like. So for lashes, I picked up these Fusion Luxe False Lash, and this one I think is just in the style Fusion. They don't look as dramatic as I thought they were going to be. Um, like in the picture on the line, they looked definitely a little bit better. I do really like the packaging, though. It's like a, an acrylic type of plastic packaging. Super, super like high-end. I am not sure if Sephora has any lash glue, but honestly, I just love my Kiss Lash Glue, so that's what I'm going to be using today. The one in the white little bottle is like my absolute favorite. So I'm going to use this and pop these on. Okay, so I actually really love these eyelashes. Let me just show you like up close they are a little bit different than like the style that I normally go for but they're pretty and I like them with this look they're not too dramatic I mean they are dramatic but they're not like super long which I think is what it just it just works and so far so good with everything you guys I love this eyeliner it is amazing it's so matte it's so black I love the brush tip I love the eyeshadow so far and um, yeah I'm just like really impressed so moving on to the face I did pick up a primer I got the beauty amplifier ultra smoothing primer and it does come with a pump which I think is really convenient 
let's just go ahead and apply this. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of product in here, to be honest. Okay, it's a silicone base primer. I'm gonna be using about that much. I really like silicone base primers. I feel like a lot of them though, you can find them at the drugstore that are silicone based, so. I mean, I like them, but I feel like if you want a good silicone base primer, they're all literally all the same. Like this feels like a lot of my affordable ones that I've tried. So I just basically apply it all over my face, but I concentrate most of the product on this area because I have really large pores right there. So then for foundation, I got two different shades. The 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. I have, I don't know which color I should go in with. I'm not too white right now. Do you hear the motorcycle? There's always a motorcycle every time I film. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade medium, which is 25, medium beige, I think. No, medium. And I love the packaging of this. It's like a frosted glass packaging. It's really, really nice, and it comes with a pump, which I love. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this on the back of my hand. Pump it out. It seems a little bit thick. I did about two and a half pumps. I think this color is going to match me. I always dot it with my finger. I'm gonna start with a brush first to blend that in and then I take my sponge to really like melt it into the skin. I'm using this AOA Studio brush. This one I just got actually from Shop Miss A, which everything is a dollar on the website. I'm just gonna use this to press this into my skin. I love this brush. It reminds me of higher end brushes that I have like the Sigma ones and this is literally like, what, $10 for the brush kit. Comes with 10 brushes, so a dollar each, which is insane to me. I know a lot of people say that like a lot of makeup brush companies like literally all use the same factory like to do their brushes and they just put a different name on it. I really believe that which is crazy because sometimes you just pay for the name of things. This foundation is blending out really really nice. Feels really nice on the skin. Doesn't feel heavy. Kind of feels like a tinted moisturizer like that's how lightweight it feels. I like it so far and I think this color might be actually really really good. This is a natural finish medium coverage foundation. You can still see a little bit of moles peeking through, so that's why I like it, because it's not like super heavy duty. It still looks like skin, but it looks really, really nice on the skin. Okay. I like that. I didn't even use all of the foundation. I still have some on the back of my hand, so I don't really feel like I need it, to be honest. Um, that blended out super easily. So then for the concealer, I'm gonna go in with the one that I was using like all throughout the video, the Gel Serum Concealer. And I'm just gonna apply that right underneath. This is a really nice formula. The amount of concealer you apply is all personal preference, obviously. I like to use a lot because, I don't know, it's just my routine. And I feel like it's just what works best for my skin. Are you guys seeing this? This is blending out like a dream and it has like the best coverage. That blended out kind of like my Tarte Shape Tape, like just so easily. Okay, I'm really obsessed with the way that that looks. I think it looks awesome. Let me just show you up close. That's what my face makeup is looking like. So then I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye area and I am gonna use a contouring kit, which I love contouring kits, so I'm really excited about this. I really love this packaging. The Sephora collection, it's super, super sleek, very, very just like simple. And I love sleek, simple packaging. Like, I mean, I love cute packaging as well, but this is just like right up my alley. So this is just the contour kit. I believe they only had one shade. So I'm gonna just pick up the banana shade in the palette just to go ahead and set my under eye area. I'm going to use a tapered highlighter. This one is from Sigma. It's the F35 and I'm just going to pick up the banana color right in the palette just to go ahead and set. Okay, the powder doesn't seem very like opaque. Like it's a really, really light powder, if that makes sense. Like some powders are like bam, like lots of pigment. This doesn't have a ton of pigment. It's just super, super lightweight. So I'm going to apply that basically where I applied the concealer on my face because I have a different powder that I want to go in with to set like my cheeks and the outer perimeter of my face. It's really nice though. I actually really like how lightweight it is because I feel like it gives you like a natural 
finish underneath your eyes and it doesn't look really powdery, which is great. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using this powder brush that is from Royal and Lang Nickel. You can get that brand at Walmart. They have some of my favorite brushes and I'm going to pick up the Micro Smooth Powder and I have two different shades, medium and light. I don't know which one I should go in with. I'm thinking medium. And I'm just going to literally swirl out my brush in here and pack this onto my face. This kind of looks like a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, which I really, really love that powder. Wow, this is really nice. Good powder. It looks just so absorbed. My face looks really white, oh my gosh. But yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm impressed. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take this e.l.f. pointed powder brush. I just cleaned all my brushes last night and it feels so good. This has been my favorite brush lately for bronzing. So I'm gonna actually just use the contour colors in here. I'm gonna use the one, the two lightest ones. And I'm going to just dip in this brush and kind of just give myself a natural bronzy look, which is what I always do. These powders are very cool toned, so if you like a cool tone bronzy look, then you're probably going to like this palette. It's not really that pigmented, this palette, to be honest with you. Um, like, it's nice, but you have to build it up. Mm, I can't say it's my favorite, like, yet. It works, it gets the job done, but it's not super like in your face, which I mean, I guess that's good when it comes to like bronzing, especially like me because I'm so heavy handed. To be quite honest with you, I prefer a more warm bronzer, but it's all personal preference. I know a lot of people really like, um, maybe this is pigmented, a lot of people like cool tone colors, so I think, like I said, it just depends on what you like. For blush, I'm so excited because I love colors like this. They're like my favorite for blush. This is the Sephora Colorful Blush, and this one's in the shade Too Hot. It actually looked like a straight up orange, like online. Like it looked super hot and orange, but in person, it's really not as like that orange. Like this is really wearable in my opinion. So I'm just gonna take that color and I'm just gonna run it right on the apples of my cheeks, kind of blending it up towards my bronzer. It's really, really pretty. Let me top off the excess. I've tried another Sephora brand blush and I actually really like it. They're super smooth and they blend well. That's a nice color. I feel like though, if you go ham a little too much, it can look kind of like clown face. So just make sure you're blending out the edges. I love that shade. Okay, then for highlighter, I picked up another palette. This one's really, really cute. You get a ton of different highlighter shades in here. A lot of them are a little bit more on the pinky side, which normally they're not my favorite highlighters to go to, but I've been kind of um, branching out when it comes to highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix a few of the colors. I'm gonna take the champagne shade right in the middle, and I'm probably gonna mix it with the white color a little bit, and basically just the top three colors. I'm just gonna mix all of the shades and just apply them right to the apples of my well, not the apples, so the high points of my cheeks. I'm using a Morphe M501. This is nice. Are you seeing it? You guys, this highlighter is so stunning. It's a lot more smooth than what I originally imagined it to be, and it's way more intense than anything that I imagined. Like, this is amazing. So, moving on then, I almost forgot about my lower lashes. I gotta finish that. So I'm gonna go back into the editorial palette. I'm gonna take a few different colors and run them on my lower lashes. So I'm gonna kind of play with the blues and the purples. So on the outer part of my eye, let me zoom in. So I'm gonna just pick up the really beautiful, like deep royal blue shade, and I'm gonna use a Morphe M506, and I'm gonna apply that on the outer part of my eye. I'm really smudging these colors low because I want you to be able to see them, especially because this look is a little bit more dramatic. Make sure you top off the excess because I literally already have some fallout, which is annoying. Taking a different brush, this one is the e.l.f. contour brush for the eyes, one of my favorites. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that hot teal and apply that kind of like mixing it a little bit with that blue. It's not as bright as I want. I'm gonna wipe off the same brush that I was just using, the Morphe M506. I do not know the names of these brushes like at all. And I'm gonna take that purple color right at the top. It's kind of like more of a magenta. I'm gonna mix it with the other purple next to it. Oh, that color is really, really nice. <laughs> that teal shade kind of got lost, but that's okay because I like the purple better. 
that same brush again I'm literally just cleaning it off as I go what other color do I want to use I think I want to use maybe a little bit of that green it's like a lime green I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply that just kind of run that right underneath of my eyeliner So then what I'm going to do is just apply some eyeliner to my waterline. This is the contour eye pencil. This is waterproof apparently. And this one is just in the shade Blonde Ambition 06. And then I'm just going to apply a quick coat of some bottom lash mascara. Again, I'm using the same one from earlier, the Lash Craft, just to coat my bottom lashes because you can't forget those. Even though I don't have super long bottom lashes, I usually never skip this step unless I'm doing something natural. Finally, for lips, I got this lip liner and it broke on me like when I was trying to like get the little packaging and stuff off, like the plastic, and I tried to sharpen it and it literally got ruined. Like, look at how it looks. So I believe this does come with a little sharpener on the end, but maybe I'm just having like a dumb moment, but I literally don't know how to use this little sharpener on the end. So that's why it looks like this, because I use one of my old like cheap sharpeners that I have. So anyways, let's try and make this lip liner work. Um, this one I have in the shade Nothing But Nude, 02. Sounds like my kind of color. <laughs> so I'm just going to line and fill in my lips a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't break on me. Ew, these stink really bad. What the heck? This literally smells like B.O. Oh my god, I want you guys to smell this. Like, it stinks. Gorgeous color, but it smells like literally like underarms. Like, what the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with this super nude lip cream stain. And I have this one in the shade... 32. This looks like concealer. I'm hoping that I can make it work, but <laughs> oh my gosh, this is way too nude. They smell really good though. It, ugh, this is what happens when you order online. Like stuff looks so much darker. Oh my gosh, I literally have concealer on my lips. I don't like that. Ugh, I didn't buy any other lip products, so I'm gonna have to just deal with it. I really don't like this jam lip liner smell. It's a nice color. It feels nice. It's actually drying down matte right now. I just don't really like the concealer look on me anymore, personally. I'm going to go ahead and just set my makeup into place, and I'm using the Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. Alright guys, so that does complete this look. I am so blown away by these products. This is definitely, like I mentioned, probably the most successful one brand tutorial that I've had. Everything worked out so well. The only thing that I can say that I didn't really love was the lip liner. Love the color, hate the smell. I hate the actual tip of it and the fact that you can't sharpen it with a regular pencil and then it gets ruined. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. So that's the only downside about this collection. But other than that, I loved everything. I think it's worth trying. The eyeliner, the eye eyeshadows are amazing. They're so easy to blend. They're really vibrant and although there is a lot of fallout, I still think it's worth the money because you get so many eyeshadows and they're just so creamy and they just work really, really well, even layering on top of each other. So I'm obsessed. I think you can make it work even with the fallout. I think it's worth it. Although this lip stain is a little bit too nude, I actually really like the formula of it and I feel like mixing it with other colors or with a lip liner, it just creates a really pretty color that I love. The face products I'm obsessed with, like they look so good. My face looks really smooth and flawless and I just really don't have any complaints honestly with anything besides the lip liner. Even the brow products, like I really love the way my brows look with the powder. I don't know, I just feel like they look good. Like I'm happy with everything. And the lashes also, I didn't think I was gonna like them because they didn't really look the best like in the actual packaging but actually applying them they're so pretty they're different and they're not too dramatic but they kind of are at the same time which is why I love them so everything for me gets a double thumbs up if I could give it more I definitely would I do think this collection is worth checking out so I hope you guys did like this video thank you so much for stopping by and for watching I love you all and I'll see you in a few days in my next video bye